Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to install an MFU driver assembly on your classic Onyx hub. You will need a 2.5mm hex key and an MFU conversion kit matching your hub spec. To begin, go ahead and remove the brake side end cap with a firm tug. Next, take your 2.5mm hex key and loosen the pinch bolt on your preload collar. Use the locating notch on the 6 bolt flange to align the hex. Once loose, go ahead and unthread the collar from your axle and set to the side. You can now push on your axle assembly and remove the axle and driver as one unit out the drive side of the hub with a firm tug. This time you want to take a moment to clean any dirt and debris that might have built up in the labyrinth seal against the hub shell. Now begin assembly by installing the driver into the clutch mechanism of your hub. Install this with a freewheel or backwards rotating motion. You'll notice this fully seats against a 60 to 5 support bearing. Next, take your axle and install from the brake side of the hub through the driver until it seats firmly into the brake side bearing. Then take your free hub body and install onto the splines of the driver, followed by the matching end cap. Now you can take your preload collar and install loosely onto the axle assembly, just shy of contacting the bearing on the hub. Finally, install the brake side end cap with a firm push, and you are now ready to mount the hub into the frame or a bearing press for adjustment. Install the hub into your frame or bearing press with torque on the through bolt at riding tension. It is important to adjust the hub in this manner as it is a floating axle design. You'll notice that there is some side to side play. Go ahead and pull the hub towards the drive side before any adjustment. Then rotate your preload collar clockwise to tighten until it just contacts the bearing on the brake side of the hub shell. Rotate the hub shell so that the locating notch on the 6 bolt flange aligns with the pinch bolt on your preload collar. Go ahead and tighten snugly with your 2.5mm hex key. You are now ready to install your cassette and rotor. Mount the hub back on your bike and get out on the trail.